Hello, welcome lovely viewers to Eben Tech Studio. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Today is going to be a special video for, um, for our CACI Church, Christ Apostolic Church International. We are going to learn about how we can add your database to um, Easy Worship 6, Easy Worship 7. But for the purpose of this video tutorial, we are going to use Easy Worship 6 the demo version so what we do is that first of all you need to download the file so once the file is downloaded you need to extract it now the database contains pentecostal songs or charismatic songs and then it contains the caci tree hymnary and then it contains p bible to us well that can be imported in easy worship 6. so what we do is that once we have downloaded the file first of all we need to extract so extract is to bring the content out of the zip file Okay, so we drag, I, I use um, um, Remra, so I can just drag the, the file to the desktop or I can click on extract and then choose the location where I want to extract to. So once I select desktop, I can still click on it. Once I select document, I can still click on document and okay. Then that is where it will be extracted to. So what I do is to minimize this window. I've already extracted it to this place. I just drag to extract. So let me close it. You can WhatsApp, you can Telegram, you can like the video, you must share the video, and then you have to subscribe to the channel too for more tutorials, and then click on the notification bell to get more tips on new technologies for church and then church media videos, um, and then other vibes on church staffs too as well. So now what we will do is that let's go to um easy worship six we open up easy worship six okay so currently i'm having a div um i'm having my default profile or i'm using the profile currently so my profile is mncop accra so that is the name of my profile i'm using right now okay so i want to um assuming you already have the profile a database system that you have installed and you are already using and then you want to install this one too as well okay so i'm assuming uh, because this database is ideal for every CAC church, definitely they will sing Pentecostal and charismatic songs. So those databases have been added to their hymnaries too as well. Okay. Sometimes it's very, um, very scarce to see them even singing, I don't know, they are hymnal songs too, but um i'm speaking from experience so they usually sing their um, the pentecostal charismatic song but we have in the um they are hymnary to us but that is the three hymnary for um cac so what we do is that um i'm having a profile already i'm assuming this um profile is going to be ideal for my church my cac church so what i do is that i create a new profile this is how you are going to install it so first of all you create a new profile by clicking on the profiles menu and then you click on profiles manager once you click on profiles manager you you click on new you see i have a lot of profiles over here so i click on new and then i name it so let's say studio cac i and then i click on ok just to create my database so once the database the profile has been created by databases haven't been added yet so i click on switch to now when i click on the switch to what is going to do is that it is going to quickly switch to the profile and make it active the active profile once i click on the press button so i click on switch to i want to start using it so um i'm not going to click any of these two buttons i'm going to cancel it because i don't want a demo song or default easy worship songs to be installed in my database okay so i just click on the cancel button just to leave my databases empty i've told you i already have this database and i think it's very ideal for any cac church any cac church can use it okay any cac church can use it because the songs there are a lot of songs in there so i need not to install the demo songs no i need not to install most of the demo songs too are part of this database so i open the extracted folder i copy the five contents i leave out the readme the readme contains instruction on how to do it just like i'm describing in the video it contains instruction on how to do it and then i copy by pressing the ctrl c so the collections the song files 
must be copied all those all those five files are very important to copy them control c or by right clicking and then choosing copy once i copy let me close this window i've closed the window i click i, I click on profiles again and then i click on profiles manager and then when i'm done with that one i come to instance location i want to locate where this profiles database is, is stored and then i can paste in the database so i click on this one for the for, for the window to open then i open the v6.1 and i move on to databases data and then when i get to the data i press ctrl v or i right click on an empty space here then i choose paste the whole thing is just to paste it and then i have to replace the files because the existing ones in there so i have to overwrite there might be some of you might be using a third party copy like super copy or terra copy you might not see replace files in destination but you might see um overwrite so bam in the default windows um copying explorer so i'm going to choose replace so once i'm done with the replacing the songs will be loaded in here initially it was zero but all the database have been loaded let me close this window now in case after replacing files or overwriting you get an error click on ok if you get an error click on ok and close easy worship reopen it again and that you will be fine okay so now let's move on to how we will be able to use our databases as we have them installed now okay so first of all expand anytime you come to your pc or you want to use this profile make sure you expand your collections this is where all the data has been organized into collections okay the hymnaries and the songs and the bibles have been organized so unfortunately we don't have the tree bible or the scripture tab okay for easy worship program so what we can do is that we can add it to the song tab and then we organize Organize it and then put it into collections. So right now, let's move on to um how we can search for the CAC tree hymnary. So now, when you click on the CAC tree hymnary, you know that um maybe a song that um the minister is singing or anybody is singing as a presenter or as a media controller, somebody who sits by the PC. What you are going to do is that um you select the CAC. You know the song, but there are many times um where the hymnary number would mention so when the hymnary number is mentioned you just hit um cac that is the hymn in is preceded by three letters cac and then you enter the number is it eight if they are singing eight eradicate the issue so that is um hymn number eight so that is the song i move on to my life my live screen is on now when i double click I have it projected on my screen okay i have it pro projected on my screen now concerning this database the lyrics and everything has been organized very well and then they have been given labels to from verses to choruses from choruses to refrain and then outros and intros everything has been given a label just make it easy for the um the controller or whoever sits by the pc doing the presentation to do it easily okay so just to do it easily so now this is how you are going to send your lyrics to the screen okay by double clicking on it so let's see if you can search uh, hymn number cc20 we can also go by that okay we can also go by that now what if they are singing an, um, a hymn but actually i didn't hear the hymn number you can also search by a phrase in the song okay maybe by the lyrics or by a test in the song so i click on this icon and then i make sure maybe if i use to i want to say something i'm just searching something so you just search by a phrase and then the title will be populated over here and then the, the verses too will be loaded over the preview side so now make sure that always your your view is set to preview and live so you can have a preview on what you are on, on what you want to project before sending it to the live screen or your main program okay so you can search let's see yes to be here And then let's see if we can get something. 
Okay, I have a song like this, so you see, you can search by, but I set it to all fields. Okay, so all fields will be delaying, so I should have rather set it to west. Okay, west, and then you see, it will, it will select the first one for me. So usually, you even want to search by a phrase or a word in a song, you can just use the this arrow to, to limit it to words. Okay, any field will just search by author to and then we'll be delaying the search to as well. So now let me close that one. As I click, we have closed it. So let me click this one back, meaning I want to search by title. Now let's come to the Pentecostal songs. Now when you come to Pentecostal songs, you select the Pentecostal songs. And then with the Pentecostal songs, um, all songs that are ideal for charismatic churches, one-man churches, praises and worship, and then song ministrations can be found in here so now we can do a search a praise time where they are singing 247 i will praise you jehovah so we have a song here let's search a song like um obina somo so see the way you love me um, which other song again? Bononi. We can also say so. Pentecostals would contain a lot of um, charismatic songs, and then which I do, which I do for one churches, Pentecostal churches, charismatic or whatever church. So Bononi song is over here too. We can search by that one. Now let's move on to um. Likewise, if you want to search by a phrase in the song, too, you do the same. You click on this one. You choose words. And then you start searching okay then you can just click back and move back to the title searching now let's come to the tree bible now this is what you do when you want to search the tree bible you are going to project from here your verses are going to be loaded over here. once we select any book any chapter the verses will be provided over here then you double click to move on to live screen now at the live screen when you use the arrow keys you can just be navigating to the next or the previous slide or content so and then when you click here we don't double click you just click and then everything is going live on your program so now let's see how best we can search so if you want to search romans chapter 7 don't enter all the romans just enter the three letters in the book so r o m and then give a space and then romans 7. so once we have romans 7 verse 19 you double click and then you go live let's see we are live over there so everything will be projected in tree for you everything will be projected in tree for you so just try to search by maybe the english word so let's say ecclesiastes ecc chapter 4. so verse 4 you double click you go live so we just use it to navigate okay so we have everything on our screen so don't mind searching anything in the tree but just searching the um in the english in the english letters and then you'll be fine so that is it for today this is how you'll be able to add the databases moreover we'll be doing more videos on how to use easy worship professionally as a presenter and then more tips on how to navigate and then adding of um timer and other other things so there's going to be a time for all those videos okay so channel your comment to the whatsapp page or to telegram and then whatsapp if you need it database too okay so if you find any error in the song lyrics you can alert so that it will be corrected too as well thank you very much for watching the video like and then click on the notification and subscribe for more videos on tech tips on church media and then church technology okay thank you very much bye